Charlie's lav mic, his pop voice is broken. We'll show you in a second what I mean. And we're gonna be using his new iPhone 6S that he obtained from a dark timeline, apparently, in his time travel shenanigans, and he came back with it. Charlie's audio has been cutting in and out for some of our takes and some of our scenes. I've been having to use some of the audio from a, a phone, which is harder to clean up. I'll show you what I discovered the other day. When we were looking at the audio output on his phone while we were trying to record, I opened this up and I looked, and it's all like destroyed inside. While the soldering iron warms up, I'm gonna go grab my tools for soldering. It looks gross. This X-Acto knife has a brand new blade, so it'll probably help me out a lot. The heat shrink they, they use completely broke. Son of a nutcracker. Look at that. Maybe it's garbage and it's supposed to be. Heat easier. shrink on this side and heat shrink on that side. I cut too deep. That part's off. Fu -fu -fu I don't know if that's good or not. It is. We're gonna put different heat shrink on. The problem is, the complicated part anyway, is that this has three components I have to solder. Okay. I have to identify all three. Or if, does it have, no it has four. Look at that. One, two, three, four. What are you messing with? Oh, you're messing with my magnet reacher. Lol. Broke the camera out. <laughs> that would actually be terrible. No, never do that. Look. Break the plastic. Case. Some of it's unplugged. How is it supposed to even work if there's nothing plugged in? Well, this is a microphone, so technically it only has two wires. Ground and mic. It's not like headphones, which have left, right, mic, and ground. It's four. Which is still not that complicated. So all I gotta do is figure out which one is which and re-solder it, am I right? Yeah. Probably. Hey, do me a favor. What? Pull this wire off when I tell you to. Oh no. He's like, oh no. Never mind, it's falling off. Pull it. No. Oh. Thank you. You gross. He's like, you gross. It doesn't look nice. So, while I'm looking at this, this outer one is the mic, and this middle one is the ground. And it's kind of messy in there. So, I need this. How good is the microphone on the headphones that I use all the time at your house? Those don't have a mic in them. Oh. I got this tiny piece of solder that had fallen into the ring of the outer part. I'm going to scrub that off. I have to be careful because there's plastic casing. Ow. The plastic in here had an invisible smoke that came up and burned me in the eye. Invisible smoke, oh, invisible snow. Smoke doesn't hurt my eyes, but it hurts him. That's, I didn't properly speak there. <laughs> All right, now I've got some. And also this thing. That heat shrink. This heat shrink is not gonna fit. What about this other heat shrink that I used in Anova? Short sounds. That might fit. See that? So let's cut off this, this mangled end that I have from my awkward cut from last time. Chop. Like chop. And then cut off like a centimeter. Chop. Chop. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on this wire now. You still have the poison ivy goo all over yourself. Oh, that's uh, I lotion. You see how it's shiny? Because I put, I whenever I use the hot water to open my pores and rinse the poison out, I then put aloe vera lotion on top. So it keeps me moisturized. Also, when the poison seeps out of my skin over time, the lotion will absorb it and soak it up instead of letting it spread around. And be gross. And be gross and itchy. I'm not even itchy right now. So you just look slightly sharper on the camera. <laughs> well, I only cut myself a centimeter of that. I, I think in two centimeters, I'm just gonna go and get some, get some extra because it's not like we need it to be beautiful and hide the heat shrink, am I right? 
Yeah, it's because, like... We need it to be functional. You're not even going to really see that. Are you the clamp? Looks like he was attacked by some sort of clamp or clamping device. Futurama reference. I saw it, like, fall sideways. Oh, no! Oh, it's still in there. I need... There. I got the broken wire out. You see, all I'm doing is getting that broken wire out of that thing, right? I can't really see that. All right, so check, check this out. That, that shiny metal is a solder. Okay. You get it hot, and you kind of have to scrape it to where those little pieces of wire, you see them on the tip there? Yeah. That's your broken wire from before. How now, much are these weird things? No, it's called wire mesh. It's like $3. It lasts you a few years until it's all junky and then you just throw it out. I'm thinking half a centimeter. And I'm going to take this ground grounding cable that's on the outside and pull it all over to one side of it and then spin it like this. So before I actually do the ground part, I have to figure out how much of this red part I'm going to put down. So I think like half of it from doing this. And I've got this heat shrink already on my wire so I can slide it over later. So I want half of this to be exposed. Did chop. Now, what's going to help conductivity oh, is going to have good solder joint. And how you're going to do that is with flux. I still don't know where my toothpicks are. It looks like a bunch of transparent earwax. Yeah, it's transparent earwax. Hey, these paper clips. No, it isn't. Don't ask me why there's bent paper clips on my table. All right, watch this, Charlie. Uh oh. <laughs> We're gonna do the ground side first. So I'm gonna take this flux and put some right there. Cause some mischief. Watch. Not actually. Now I'm oxidizing the flux. I don't know what the word oxidizing means. I think it's a chemical reaction from caused by heat. That smoke I can actually see, so when it gets near my eyes, I blow it away. It's black and silvery. Let's do the other side. Now you see how the colors have changed? Yeah. It's going to be more happy to, to make friends with this next thing. <laughs> but it's, it's a thing about soldering is they don't want to stick unless it's been oxidized. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little bit more solder to this, this spot. The cool thing about making a YouTube video is Charlie can watch this. He watches all my videos anyways. I watch all of his. And then he'll be like, oh, okay. That's how this works. Yeah, if I see this, I'm probably going to see this video in the future. And actually understand how this works. And have sharp sounds. All right, so that looks like I got that about the right place. I'm gonna turn it over. Ooh, it's warm. This needs to be oxidized as well. So I'm actually gonna put flux on the side where it needs to touch it first. Okay, Charlie can help me be the guy. I can't remember what they call it when they actually have a fan exhaust. He can be the exhaust. No, I'm already. Ex being the exhaust. Exhausting Already all the time. Now this should hopefully only take a second. Now that has too much solder in it because I won't be able to get the heat shrink over that. Maybe I changed things for the worst with the getting the iPhone in real life. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I can't have the solder touching the outer ring either. Can you get my iFixit kit? I fix nothing. Okay, I'll get that for some reason. Also bring down, down a stratosphere so we can test this when we're done. Okay, I'll put the stratosphere down so you can't breathe anymore. What I don't know what he's saying. Stratosphere? I will when I do my editing. If the power device Mikey's wearing is working. He wants the stratosphere phone. Here's 
the stratosphere. I got it out of the stratosphere. Got the stratosphere out of the stratosphere. I did you hear the secret things that I said upstairs? Not actually secret things. The I fix it with people that can that are deaf still be able to read it maybe because dots on still on it. Oops. What I'm trying to do here is get it soldered flat. I need a bigger heat shrink. So that means I have to take this completely off and use this bigger stuff. Boy. Don't call me boy. Boy. Well, I'll go in the black hole room. Or I can't because of the microphone will break. Hmm. Could be too long that way. This man needs help. He's abusing magnetism. This man needs help. He's abusing magnetism. ASMR sounds. <laughs> if you say out, I abuse another thing. <laughs> I'm just abusing things and telling jokes. I'm not really helping because I can't. Garbage. And it smells like garbage. Because it's plastic melting. Or you get touched by the clamps. By the way, this uh, poverty wise lav mic, the plastic on it feels so nice. Yeah, links in the description for this power to wise lav mic, and that one is an interview set. And, all right, that looks good this time. Oh, I didn't put the heat shrink on. Son of a nutcracker. <sighs> And I want the other heat shrink on there too. Okay. Another thing, if you put longer heat shrink for this part, is gonna make it so that you can't damage the connector as quickly by twisting it. That's good. So I don't break it again. All right, let's test this. Okay, yo, man. Testing, we got a test. Okay. Testing with mic plugged in. Mm. Testing with mic unplugged. <laughs> Testing with mic unplugged. That gives me sad face noises that it doesn't work. Hopefully we can fix it in 15 minutes or something. If not, it's trash. And we'll get a new microphone that has a stronger thing on my bob. That has a stronger thing on my bob. So we can actually shoot for your. What were the you solder wants to attach itself to the ring over here, and I can't get it off. I've actually been soldering for years, fixing things, and building my own things. But when I get to the point where I've destroyed something, I usually throw it away and get another one. Like if I had, I buy plugs like this by themselves which we might be able to use if I find one of these by itself, but keep the wire and the mic. I won't make a video on that because watching this, people will figure out how I would do it. They just need to practice. Testing with mic unplugged. Oh, this is easy because I could see my voice waves. Whoa. Why did you call them voice waves? That sounds ridiculous. Or the waveform going up and down. Oh, that's better. Okay, this is testing with the mic plugged in. Testing, 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 testing. Stop texting me while I'm... Ugh, God, I'm so popular. I should have put it on airplane mode. I get like no text messages. I have to messages. unplug this because it thinks it's headphones and it's not. Testing with mic unplugged. Oh, this is easy because I could see my voice waves. Ooh. Jinx yourself! Maybe that's how other me gets jinxed. Or the waveform going up and down. Oh, that's better. Okay, this is testing with the mic plugged in. Testing, 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 testing. Stop texting me. One. <laughs> 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 that's posted on TikTok. 
or do do that maybe yeah put this little bit as a trailer <laughs> on TikTok. so let's do it take care of our heat shrink do the big heat shrink first the chunky one finally it works that was actually pretty easy here's la flame <coughs> if it has any la fuel in it I don't what? like La Flame hmm. and La Tweeze. I mean, La Squeeze. La Squeeze? Please, La Squeeze it. La Use? La, it's probably. La, I don't have any more puns for La. Yep, it still has weird fuel goo in it. Squeeze it, don't cut it, please. No, don't set on fire, Billy. <sighs> the La Flame, very scary. That actually doesn't look terrible. Except my standards are pretty low, so. <laughs> I'm funny. probably wrong. You can vote in a poll. Actually, that doesn't exist anymore. You can't just go in the comments and say if you like it or not. Yeah, tell me in the comments how you like this thing. And maybe I'm also going to go see if I can find this thing on uh, eBay or something in case I need to fix it again. This is the tiniest selfie stick I've ever seen in the world. Look at how small you can make this stuff. Yeah. This is how, you, how short you can make it. And the phone mount for this is being used up there right now. I'll, I'll let you guys see it here. This is a phone mount that came with the selfie stick. As you see, it's like this. And it's screwed on on this end. If, if, if you can imagine, Smoky smells. it comes screwed on to that end. And you can hold this like that and do a selfie with yourself. And you can also have it stretch way out like four and a half feet. Five shirts. Let's, let's do the final testing on this video. And you can hold on to that gimbal while we do this. It looks almost the exact same. So I've got that back in there. I'm gonna do a final test. All right. Testing, testing, testing. Testing really close to my mouth. Test. ASMR sounds. Make some ASMR sounds. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's not an ASMR sound, but there. What's it? Oh god. <laughs> That's so gross. I think more testing has to be done. But this pop voice mic is pretty good, but this phone has a horrible audio processor inside, which is why I don't use it for miking. It's just the only free one we had right now. Like so that's it for this video. Bye. By the way, guys, we have a challenge. On this channel, if I get 50 subs, we're gonna eat a bunch of Quest bars and probably some bean chips over a series of a couple of days and then shoot a video explaining how to shop for computers, all knowing what kind of RAM, kind of drive, not hard drive, we'll explain more. But it'll be hilarious because we'll keep farting. Mine, mines are like and his are like All the time. <laughs> it sounds like, and we're going to put noise reduction in it, so it sounds like we're crapping ourselves. Maybe I will, I'll do noise reduction different, so that you can hear the farts, but not all the static of the background air, you know? Yeah. But, in the meantime, why don't you check out this cool video where he dressed up in a green suit, and we pretend battled in the basement like it was a dream sequence where I was battling shadow people. In the basement. I'll put that up here, and then I'll do a vlog, probably where I did some cooking with him, up here. And if you have Instagram, or TikTok, or Twitter, or Facebook, you can find Don't me. Don't press TikTok right now. And any of those videos down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, it's down there. And a link to his channel is down here, too. Alright, bye! Bye!